Okay, this is Wednesday, October 7th, 2020, and the Gpool interface switchover to delegate only has been released, and so I'm going to give you a brief tour of it. We are on the home page of the interface, and uh, as you can see, the T fuel indicator up at the top here now reflects the amount of T fuel that I have earned since the last 24 hour period started. Um, I think it starts at uh, it's either 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. every day. Uh, the previous 24 hour cycle ends and the next 24 hour cycle begins. And I did a calculation based on what I know, how much I typically earn per hour and divided that amount into what this is showing here and that comes out about right. So first thing you got to do is as before you go down here and click on theta and it brings you into the overview screen which is the default and shows the same kind of stuff. This shows you how many hours and minutes uh, you are I believe that's the remaining hours for the t current 24 hour cycle okay um, and if you scroll down gives you the user rank uh, for that node where you are I'm number 1006 and uh, this really doesn't mean anything because uh, the ranking I don't well I think that that's probably uh, based on how much I've got staked as to where that puts me I think that's what that is but uh, I'm not sure and so continue to scroll down shows total rewards 151.5467 T fuel and uh, I did a calculation of since I delegated and it came out about right based on what I get on average for daily it came out about right to when I started my delegation and then down here it tells you how many uh, nodes I'm delegated to and I'm delegated to just one it doesn't tell me here which one that is but it really doesn't matter scroll down a little bit more tells me how much I've got staked which is the uh, minimum amount of 10,000 theta and but that's that's what my stake is and uh, so that's that so now uh, if you want to go to the join guardian node and basically um, that gives you the holder summary and uh, basically this is you need to copy this and then when you go to stake it's going to ask you for this information and your theta never leaves your wallet it is just time locked to this holder summary until you do a withdraw so it's safe because you maintain control of your theta. You can withdraw at any time. From the time that you request to withdraw, there's a waiting period before it actually gets back into your wallet and can be used. You could sell it at that point or whatever. But uh, just know that when you request to withdraw, it's not instantaneous. It takes a period of days. I'm not sure how many it is. Uh, I don't think it's more than a week. But it's, I, I suspect that it's depending on the node that you're in and when it goes into its funding stage, whatever day of the week that happens to be, uh, will determine how long it takes for it to become available to you. And uh, I don't want to copy that. I did it anyway, but it uh, doesn't matter. So you can either copy it or if you're using a mobile wallet, you can just scan this QR code here. Next, I'm going to go down. Uh, I've already covered uh, what the profile is. And this, um, this calculator, I believe, is a way that you can figure out well, if I stake this much, this is what my earnings should be. I'm not going to really cover that in detail because uh, uh, you can go in and explore that. And overview, that's the uh, initial view that uh, I showed you already. Um, if you go to 
join Guardian node, even though they said that they plan on uh, reducing the minimum amount that you must stake from 10,000 down to 1,000 as of this release, they have not accomplished that. And it may be that they're not going to put that in right now simply because there are rumors flying about that Theta Org is going to reduce it from 10,000 down to 1,000 themselves. So Gpool may have just decided, hey, if Theta is going to do it, we'll just wait. So the next thing, uh, and then dashboard. So I'll click on dashboard, and it shows you the graph, which uh, is showing that uh, my daily earnings were a little bit lower at the beginning, and then they increased and stayed pretty much the same and then went down just a little bit and went down just a little bit and then leveled off and then this is the current 24-hour cycle that we're in so uh, as the cycle progresses this will go up and of course uh, this shows you the current 24-hour cycle which began at like 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. of the previous day at this point because it's the following morning and it shows you how much time is left in the current 24-hour cycle and it shows you what my total earnings since the current 24-hour cycle began is so this will update about every 10 minutes and then you go further down and it shows I'm delegated to one node and again it shows what I've earned in the current 24 hour cycle and if you click on this it takes you here it shows you how much I've got staked and it shows you the payout address and it does not seem to indicate which of the nodes that I am actually staked to, but it really doesn't matter. And then over here, this is important. When you first log back in, uh, your payout address is not connected to your account. So basically to claim your, your uh, payout address where you are delegated from, you have to put your payout address in here and then click claim and I've already done it so it's showing me my payout history going back certain certain period of time but uh, what it's going to do is you'll put in your payout address and then it's going to tell you it's going to give you a number and tell you to prove that this is your payout address that you control that address it's going to tell you to send a random amount of T fuel from that address and it's a tiny tiny amount like what it required for me was 0 0.0005 T fuel from that address and it gives me the address to send it to and once it receives the specified amount of T fuel and it's the correct amount that they specified then it associates your account with that address and that's at, at that point it'll start showing you what your history is based on that address so uh, that's what that's all about it was pretty simple I mean it took me you know a couple of minutes maybe to accomplish that so uh, again up here at the top is always displayed no matter where you are within your account and this is the total earnings from the beginning of the current 24-hour uh, cycle. So when uh, the current 24-hour cycle closes and a new one opens, this will go back to zero and start counting up again. And then, uh, so if you want to see how much you've earned since you originally delegated, then you would go and look on the overview page and it'll show you what your total is. Um, let's go back and I'll show you that once again. Overview. And down here, there it is. Total rewards. That is, since I originally delegated my 10,000 theta, I've earned 151.6478 T fuel uh, for that uh, theta that I delegated. If I were to withdraw and then redelegate, 
then that's going to reset this number uh, back to zero probably be my guess I mean I could be wrong I haven't done it yet so I don't know that for for a fact but I believe that's the case so there you have it hopefully this was helpful to you and if it was give it a like consider subscribing to the channel be glad to have you talk to you later if you enjoyed this video please like it share it and most importantly hit that subscribe button thanks for watching